Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about something called spinal stenosis, okay? Stenosis is the Greek word that means narrowing. You can have stenosis of the arteries. We're going to talk about stenosis of the spinal column. You have the spine that goes from your head all the way down to your lower back. Um, this condition, basically, there's just not enough space in that column, so it, pre it presses on the spinal cord, all right? So it's narrowing of this space, pressing on the cord, causing pain. Uh, and it could be in the neck, it could be in the low back, it could be in the mid back, uh, or sciatica down the legs, or even pain down the arms, okay? So that's pretty much what it is. Now, what is the cause of this, okay? If you look it up, it'll say the cause is age-related. You're just getting older. Uh, bone uh, spurs, thinning of the discs, which kind of collapse the space as well. Arthritis, okay? That's what it says. But what is the real underlying cause of this? Because a lot of people have this and they don't really know what to do about it other than surgery. Okay, so what is the actual cause of spinal stenosis, okay? Now normally there is a certain factor or a certain chemical that is supposed to inhibit bone spurs and the formation of calcium deposits in the soft tissues. Normally there should not be an excess of calcium deposits in the ligaments around the spinal column. And when that occurs, it can constrict and narrow the spinal column. Okay. Well, that factor is called MGP. The long word for it is carboxylated matrix GLA protein, if you really want to know that. So when you're deficient in MGP, you're not going to be able to get rid of the spur formation or the excess calcium deposits. So MGP is a potent inhibitor of not just vascular calcification that makes your arteries hardened, but joint calcification as, as well. It basically helps you bind calcium and remove it in places that it shouldn't be and puts it in the bone where it should be, okay? So the question is why is this missing? It's really not missing, it just isn't, it's missing the activator. There's a certain activating vitamin that is missing that's supposed to turn, kick this and turn the thing on, and that's called vitamin K2, okay? You probably heard of vitamin K1. Vitamin K2 is all about triggering this compound to then mobilize calcium from the wrong place and put it into the correct place, okay? Vitamin K2 is usually deficient in the diet because many people do not consume grass-fed products because it's, it's really only in the grass-fed um, animal products. It's in the grass-fed dairy, grass-fed meats. It's in egg yolks from chickens that are grass-fed, like pasture-raised, not grain-fed. Any animal products that are fed grains, you're not gonna see a lot of vitamin K2. So you definitely wanna do the grass-fed. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you might wanna consume something called NATO, which is a fermented soy product, which you will see vitamin K2. So one other factor that could be uh, diminishing the absorption would be your gallbladder or your liver is damaged because you need normal bile to absorb this fat-soluble vitamin K2, all right? So if there's not enough bile or a gallbladder problem or don't have a gallbladder, that could be the reason why. So I put a link down below of the natural version of vitamin K2, which is called MK7. I don't recommend doing the MK4 version that is synthetic, all right? And I also put some research down below for additional information about K2. But just make sure you start consuming more grass-fed, especially if you have spinal stenosis. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.